we have with us uh, child prodigy venkat raman patnayak with us he knows a lot about space science and technology let me introduce mr venkat raman patnayak is a space enthusiast tech speaker nasa citizen uh, scientist podcaster of space pod and microsoft technology associate in java python html css javascript and database that's uh, sql passionate about avionics telemetry human space flight space suits and propulsion very much interested in space science and technology he knows a lot about uh, space science and technology i would like to interview him on this occasion welcome mr venkat raman what is your age mr venkat raman i'm currently 10 years old in which standard are you studying i'm studying in 6th grade what are your hobbies um i do multiple things i like swimming badminton cricket chess now let us know how you became interested in space science and technology four years back with chandra and i i was interested about it it was a it was basically a feed that came on my youtube and i saw india's mission to the moon i was fascinated that we could even go to the moon something that we kids pretty much dream of so i went to into it and i started watching it it was the landing page and i waited till night 2 o'clock 2:30 and then my father instructed me to go to sleep and that he would notify me in the morning i woke up and i felt that my father didn't see anything i didn't get any call or i didn't get to know anything so i started to search more about it on google and got to learn more about why and how it feels in fact i still waited to any signal for coming back unfortunately nothing was heard from it so i started learning about why and how it feels and what were the effects of that mission i started to learn more about moon at the same time more about previous missions to the moon how chandrayaan 1 had helped find water on the moon too it was a pretty interesting story and it's like my origin my birthplace from where i started in space science and it was very interesting to learn about see space science and technology uh, understanding requires lot of engineering and technical intricacies are also there how could you pick up and assimilate of course there's technicalities and technical understanding and i understand about that but i really wanted to first start from the basics and fundamentals in case i didn't understand i need an a mentor and finding a mentor in our area was a very hard time it's very hard to find any mentor in our area so we had to look for online people and uh, online courses i took from multiple platforms to learn more about space and on the engineering part coming to that i took multiple courses one from edx and mit which was about engineering the space shuttle so it was a very interesting course i got to learn more about the technicalities and uh, i started to basically take courses and online resources as my help to these to these concepts because as i said it's quite hard to find a mentor like space program an asteroid hunt program organized uh, by one of the student committees in society they were looking for a asteroid hunt program and encourage students along with nasa to do a asteroid hunt or a citizen science program so usually nasa gives out to multiple academies so that their students or individuals in fact can attend for this program for me it was a asteroid hunt program so i had to take a look at the map uh you need to learn map 
or an X-ray screen map, and there would be a asteroid or any moving object. So once I would figure out an object, I would see an object. I would then track it, mark it. I'll send it to the organizers, and then they will confirm it with NASA. We'll use actual telescope imagery in finding out that it was a confirmed asteroid. If any student would like to become a citizen scientist like you, in which website they should search? So it's pretty easy. They can go for NASA. They can go for any type of student organization or student committee that is affiliated in space science along with NASA. You can search on NASA websites. They usually give out challenges to younger kids and college level kids too. And not only that, they can go for IAC, Isaac, and they will also give out updates on the citizen side. Is there any specific uh, time or any any time it is available? If there is a specific time. They usually do do it by uh, September to November. It it will depend on organizer.